<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to more twice. Today we're actually going to do another guide for twice. I've done one already and um, but you guys told me that this uh, video is really good that it focuses more on, on like the group and what they achieved and everything so that it's not like a, uh, an all member guide or not only that so I'm really excited to watch this and uh, it's actually a pretty long video so I'm gonna try not to pause much uh, because um, we, we know I talk a lot so it's not like I want this video to be 3,000 hours long. So, um, yeah, let's go with this video. I'm super excited to see the girls and what they say in this guide. So let's go. Okay. Oh my God, I'm super excited. I really don't know what this is about. Like, obviously I know it's a guide and all that, but I don't know exactly what they're gonna go for. So yeah, let's go. Hi. Oh, this is so loud. I wanna go. Twice is a nine member girl group and they were formed by the K pop company JYP. Okay. Now, JYP is a powerhouse company in K pop, being one of the first formed in 1997 and contributing to the formation of K pop as a whole. It's home to many famous groups, but their girl groups have always been extraordinarily yeah. successful, such as Wonder Girls, Miss A, Itzy, Nizzy U, and now their latest girl group, N Mix. <laughs> Standing tall above these, however, is their strongest pillar. Twice. JYP Jesus. Entertainment Twice was struggling so in 2015, well. being at an all time low monetarily and attention wise after the disbandment of their then most successful groups, leaving a huge hole to fill. They decided to form a survival show. 16 with JYP. A bit like American Idol or X Factor, to find their next big group, whereby 16 girls were voted off over time until seven were left. Some of the challenges included photo shoots, dancing, wow. singing, personality I wanna watch challenges, it, and public engagement. But I don't want to cry. <laughs> it was a harsh survival Oi. show and caused upset many a time throughout the series with insulting comments and surprise elimination. What the fuck? Now, I previously mentioned that seven girls were left when Twice is currently a girl group of nine. Yeah. This is because two girls who got eliminated during the show were brought back for the final which okay. we will discuss soon when talking about the members. Before we get to them though, I want to quickly touch on some information that you might find interesting. Okay. Twice are the highest selling K-pop girl group ever, selling 15 million album copies between Japan and Korea That's alone. That's insane. As well as being the fastest K-pop group to surpass one, two, three, and four billion streams on Spotify. Wow. They were also the first K-pop group to have a J-line or Japanese line meaning having two or more Japanese members. That's so Twice cool. having three, which actually revived the Hallyu wave or popularity of Korean culture in Japan, as well as relieving political and public tension, showcasing Twice's importance as a top group in K-pop and Korea's history. That's so cool. Now, let me introduce you to all nine members. Okay. Nayeon is the oldest in Twice. She sums up the group as a whole with her youthfulness. I actually love doing this after, like we've done a guide, as I said, but I love doing this after I actually kind of know a bit more of them and I've heard the discography and everything just because now I can see what they are saying, you know, I can see what they say Nyon is, for example. It's Vocals so cool. and public appeal. She starts and ends most of Twice's songs, sings a lot of the high notes. Yeah. Yeah. Sings a lot of their choruses, and also writes numerous songs for the group. Nice. She's the face of the group, and the one the public usually think of first upon hearing Twice's name. Nine is known for her virality. Everything she She's uses so or does goes viral in an instant. <laughs> Nayeon has the biggest tendency out of all the members to spoil every single project or album the group have upcoming, and she loves it. She would tease the fans so cool. months before an announcement even comes out. Also, at the time of this video, she's the only member to have her solo Not debut anymore, with yay. pop and self-titled album in Nayeon. It's so good. Jonghyun is a motherly figure in Twice. She has intimate relationships with all of the members. Oh Kerry no! Why are these three doing that? 
she has intimate relationships with all of the members, caring for them, cleaning up for them, cooking for them. Cute. And it's definitely one of the factors in keeping the girls as close as they are to each other. Do not be fooled though, because once a challenge heads her way, she will not be afraid to knock anyone down <laughs> in her sight. Her vocal ability is one of the best in Twice and is up there. In I K-pop, love her voice being so much. Incredibly rich, stable, and distinct. <laughs> She has a huge heart, volunteering a lot of her time to various dog and animal shelters to help out in times of need. During Twice's early days, she was most identifiable by her tomboy look, (laughs) which was chosen for her by the company. Although in recent times, she gained control of her image and individuality and started to reverse it in a way that she wanted to. And she looks amazing either way. Unfortunately, Jonghyun also went on hiatus, or break, in October of 2020 to focus on her mental health and neck injury that lasted three months. Then not long after, entered her second hiatus, which lasted most of the last half of 2021. Poor baby. Jonghyun cared for her fans and twice so much so that during both hiatuses, she still gathered up the courage to participate in numerous music videos, although not performing. She was the second member to do this and is now happily and healthily back participating with the girls. Momo is a member who was not originally in Twice's lineup and was added at the end. Okay, spoiler. I mean, I knew they were going to say it. She was brought back as the staff unanimously decided she was the most hardworking and committed to the show and did not deserve to be voted off prior. Yay. She's one of the three Japanese Just imagine twice. twice without Momo. Although I don't think Japanese is a strong suit anymore. <laughs> Though something not to laugh at is her dancing skills. Yes, she's Jesus, what is twice. this? And when I say main, I mean main. Did do... they show this in the other guide? It looks yeah. familiar. She's like, the main dancer kind of. of Twice. And when I say main, I mean main. She can do multiple types of dance after wow. training since she was just three years old. Wow. She's highly respected among all dance instructors and idols for her talent and is always battling for the top spots whenever a dance discussion is brought about. Wow. Her stage presence is incredible and she always gives the most when she's performing. And be careful when she performs Hello because you will pass out. <laughs> Yep. Momo's traits don't stop here though. In every situation, she is always hilariously 10 steps behind. <laughs> behind. Sana okay. is the second Japanese member in Twice along with Momo. Now, Sana is a girl of duality. She yep. can go from cute to yeah. sexy in a matter of seconds, and it is not good for my heart. Uh, exactly. She's also the most affectionate member, making sure to stress everyone else out when she gets close. Cute. Sana also sings a lot of the choruses in Twice's songs, most likely due to her captivating voice. <laughs> potential to make most lines she sings into viral moments yeah sana is probably the biggest extrovert in twice and will not hesitate to make friends with anyone she's she a lot she probably has the most idol friends chani i love twice, you and will not hesitate to make friends with anyone she sees she probably has the most idol friends outside of twice and she's constantly full of energy when her and geo pair up together yeah whoever is in the vicinity better start running because they will bombard with pure energy <laughs> Gio is the voice of Twice. Her vocal ability is outstanding and is without it's a doubt insane. the best in Twice. Wow. What the fuck is this? What the? There is never a moment of flow when she's, she's singing live, and that truly demands a lot of respect. Her dancing is nothing to ignore either, being up there as one of the best dancers in Twice. If Momo gives her all, then Gio gives just as much. <laughs> I watched and when this. them two are on stage together alone, the power is unmatched. She has also composed two tracks for Twice and has numerous solo OSTs for popular cases. I haven't reacted to this. What the fudge? Dramas. 
Gio was also unanimously voted as the leader by all the nice. girls of Twice. She knows them inside and out and knows how to deal with every type of situation a member or the group faces. She is the glue. This is most likely due to her long, long training period of 10 years prior to becoming... It was voted? I, I thought that uh, JYP always places like the leader title thingy to the trainee that was that trained the longest. Bangchan as well. Well, I mean Bangchan, it's a different situation. But like I, th I thought that w was how it worked. Okay, I didn't know. Idol, it was voted. Which perfectly set her up to become the leader of a worldwide sensation today. Yeah. She's without a doubt the most competitive member of the group. <laughs> and when her and Dian and Jong go up against each other in any type of challenge, a war has started. We know that. Mina is the third Japanese member along with Sana and Momo. Although opposing to them, she is definitely the most introverted idol in Twice and most definitely within K-pop. She finds comfort in gaming, being alone off camera, we think but also has an immense love for her members and never fails to do any daytime activities or hobbies with them. Oi. Don't be fooled though because she is not camera shy at all. Mina also so embodies pretty. elegance in her singing, talking and dancing. I swear to God, I love this girl to death. And the dancing so side is most definitely due to the fact she trained as a ballerina for 11 years before joining Twice. And I would kill to see more of it wow. implemented into Twice's dances or She's a solo project. So good. Another thing not to be fooled about is Mina's duality, because just like Sana, she could switch up at any moment, especially when she enters American Twice. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Mina was the first member of Twice to go on a hiatus, starting at the end of 2019, a year long? And lasting a year due to severe anxiety. Wow. having to miss out on their Twice Lights world tour. This news was massive as hiatuses and mental health in K-pop has always been overlooked. Oh, wow. But coming from a group as big as Twice completely changed the game. Baby. And other companies later followed suit when similar occurred with their artists. It marks a new movement in the K-pop world. Mina also gathered the courage to appear in Twice's comeback at the time, but did not perform either. She is also back and better than ever with the girls. Yay. Dion is the funniest idol in existence. Maybe. No one could put a show on more than her. Can they dance like this? Sing <laughs> like this? I love her so much. Move like this? Jesus! I didn't think so. Although, whilst being incredibly goofy, Dion can switch to serious in a matter of seconds, which is a top quality. She has also written the most amount of songs out of all the Twice members. Her songs? Just look at this. Insane. Dahyun plays the piano exceptionally well, and one of her favourite pastimes is to upload covers for Once's, Twice's fans. Either to their YouTube channel or a private chat service. Dion also is noticeably the rapper of Twice, but has a beautiful voice and can exchange roles as well as she can her demeanor. Yeah. Similar to Nyon, Dion loves to inform us about upcoming comebacks, but in the most unconventional way possible. <laughs> if she changes her hair color, you know a song is coming. Yeah. I feel like Chayong that's capable. is without a doubt the ace in Twice. She raps, sings, and dances each incredibly well. She's in Twice's the early attitude, days, man. she was focused mostly on rapping. She's insane, like, just look at her. We've hardly any time to showcase her vocal talent, as well as being shy about it. But in recent years, JYP has let us show this off after finding success in the first time she sung a title track whilst covering for Mina during her hiatus. Oh, we pretty. I love her voice. She's has such a sweet Since voice. then, she has not looked back and continues to sing in most of Twice's songs now. Cheng is also the free bird of Twice and has a very cool and calm personality. <laughs> she writes poetry, she paints, she does pottery, she composes, wow. she sometimes dresses the members, and she's the only member to have tattoos and yeah. numerous oh, of them. The only member? I know she has a lot, 
but like I didn't know it, she was the only. This cool and calm personality rubs off on the members a lot, who rely on her when wanting to chill out or take a break. She's a breath of fresh air. Oh, I'm cute. Chewie is the youngest member in TWICE. She is also Taiwanese and speaks Chinese as her first language, completing the four of the four foreign members. All of TWICE are insanely beautiful, but Chewie is the visual. Just look at her. She captivates anyone who walks in her aura. <laughs> she was the second member who was not in the original lineup and added at the end like Momo. Oh. Chewie was added due to popular demand of the audience and due to JYP himself saying that she improved the most throughout the show, which has reigned true still to this day as she continues She's to reach so new heights artistically. She was a baby, like I know Cheyon and Dovo as well, like they are basically the same age, almost. But she's, she's just a baby. <laughs> I Every love my day. baby so much. They are spoiling. So pretty. If you look back at 16 to now, you can see an immense jump in maturity, talent, and individualism, something that truly makes her shine. Though. Yeah. She also captivates during her dancing with a charming stage presence and great fluidity after training in dance from a young age as well. She is also known as the angel in Korea, and not just for her selfless personality and respect towards every living being, but due to her charity work like John Yon. Chewie also volunteers at numerous dog shelters oh, and cute. donated over 40,000 US dollars equivalent worth of aid and respirators to Korea and China during COVID. Chewie also never fails to make Twice laugh, whether it be on purpose or I mean, by accident. She's the baby. I feel she like they would laugh. Four languages, too fluently, At Chinese and Korean. That's supposed to be funny. <laughs> I've never and heard her well not to speak Korean. English and Japanese. To challenge ourselves and break more barriers on work. We want to express our gratitude towards every everyone who stands by our side in this journey, especially our fans. Once. Oh, cute. She truly has too many great qualities for one idol. Yeah, literally. JYP had okay. big plans years ahead of Twice's debut, oh. and many still undermined the extent of the company's planning. JYP wanted their concept to be healthy in reference to the mind, body, and beauty, okay. which still reigns true to this day, with a heavy focus on color pop and electro pop covering a lot of their discography, especially yeah. in the early days often resulting in them being lumped into nothing more than cute and bubbly. Exactly, but that is not yeah. the limit of Twice's musicality. This whole concept of healthiness links to the sole meaning of Twice's name, to be charmed twice, once by beauty and a second by catchy music, okay. which again, Twice has not faltered in upholding seven years into their career with hit after hit. And on a personal note, I truly believe that JYP planned for Twice. Kelly Clarkson is the fucking best person ever. She's always so respectful. I've not seen this. And I don't know if I saw... Oh yeah, I saw a clip of her asking Chewie how her name is pronounced. And, and she was like, just call me however or something like that. And she was like, no, tell me how it's pronounced. And I was like, fuck yes. I don't even know if I say their, their names right, but like... I love that she's like this because there's a ton of shows like this that just I don't even want to talk about it. They are insane. To be a group that grows with their audience, as if you listen to their songs in order, you can almost see three stages of a story: dreaming slash thinking about love, <laughs> being in love, and remembering problems of their experienced love. That's cool. JYP has always been known for creating idols with golden personalities as it is one of the core qualities they look for in their trainees and even focusing on recent times I really love a factor as to why Twice is as successful as they are yeah. as their love for their I fans, love JYP music artists. and each other is objectively one of the strongest I've seen this has created an incredibly tight-knit circle whereby once Twice's fan base and Twice themselves can comfortably communicate with each other on a level that is close to a friendship. 
near enough unseen by a lot of idols in the industry. Cute. Twice rely on once, and once rely on twice, and both sides truly understand this. Also, from here on out, it may be more of an information overload for newer onces, so please bear okay. with me. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> as I stated before, Twice's core concepts as a group is hell. Yeah. However, this has not stopped them or limited them from exploring new Jesus, sounds, Santa. new genres, and new styles, unlike many seem to think. Across seven years, we've seen title tracks never sound the same even with some tackling the same type of concept, yeah. which is a major feat in itself, having songs for all I was all really surprised when I got into their Some discography. type of track genres include Bossa Nova, Future House, EDM, Bubblegum Pop, Retro Synthwave, and many more types of genres that are usually mixed together. So pretty, this now, was so Now if we so talk cool. about their B-sides and their variations, we would be here for what seems like an eternity. Yeah. But it's almost like Twice has nearly covered every genre there is to do. Let's have a quick look. Rock, contemporary R&B, Latin pop, city Did pop, it. hip hop, waltz, trap, jazz, and many, many more again. This so crazy to me. I really had Twice, just like he said, like I really had an image of Twice of, be of only being cute because that's what I heard and that's what like most people say. So getting to their B-sides and all their title tracks actually it's insane because you can clearly tell that's not the case obviously at the beginning it was more of like this cutesy side but they evolved they've grown and it's not like that anymore and it's crazy it's crazy they Watching did everything very rich listening experience for once across their albums has twice love attempting different genres within albums and not just focusing on one type yeah you never know what to expect next time they come back and this is one of their best qualities across their 173 korean song journey not including japanese songs english songs Jesus. covers and osts speaking of which i think it's very important to highlight twice's material that isn't necessarily official i have to this get also to shows this. their talents and versatility in a variety of ways but we'll talk about that later in the video okay now where did it all start Twice debuted on the 20th of October 2015 Jesus. with Like U R and mini album I love that Story song. Begins. In the first week, Like U R did worse than the company had hoped for, oh. mostly being overlooked by the general public at first. But then a week later, after hype had gathered, it began to steadily pick up and gain attention. Oh. Not enough for a huge <laughs> success story, but just enough attention on Twice for the life changing events that would come in the following year, yeah. 2016. April 2016, Cheer Up, the song every K-pop fan knows, the song every Korean member of the public knows, their first comeback. Cheer Up was a national sensation, it was the talk of the country, the catchy melody, the easy dance, and most importantly, <laughs> Shy 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 went viral, <laughs> and I'm saying everyone was doing it. This song alone threw twice into the role of Korea's national girl group previously owned by girls generation the top girl group of the last generation yeah this was huge for twice an unprecedented amount of success attention and love and it only got better wow in comes their second comeback in october tt 2016 was really twice's defining year there was pressure like every there was doubt freaking but they title track was insane out of the water and further surpassed everyone's expectations yet again for six years, it reigned as the most viewed music video of any JYP act ever Crazy. at 690 million views, being dethroned in 2022 by one of Twice's own songs, What Is Love, their seventh comeback. That's insane. TT was not only the talk of Korea, but now across the pond in Japan. Everyone was doing the pose. Dion's catchy... Love it, love it. it was the success of Cheer Up all over. It was so popular in Japan, in fact that in June of 2017, Twice released their first full-length Japanese version ever with TT, along oh, wow. with a newly shot music video, a new stepping stone for their Japanese YouTube channel that was soon about to take off as well. To this day, it is still their third most viewed music video on the Japanese channel. Oh, wow. This truly cemented their success and pushed them straight to one of the top groups leading their generation, having <laughs> only been so one cute. year. From then on out, every single song Twice put out was a hit, seller after seller, and showed absolutely no sign of stopping. 
Literally. They were the first ever girl group to win Song of the Year at the Mnet Asia Music Awards three times in a row. 2016 for Cheer Up, 2017 for Signal, and 2018 for What Is Love. With the only other group I'm so doing proud of them. BTS the following years. They are also the only girl group to win Girl Group of the Year four times at MAMA, being 2016, 2018, 2019, and 2021. Let's and go. Further, being the K-pop girl group with the most awarded Day Sangs ever, 18, placing them third oh, overall. Oh, gee, really? Day Sangs being one of K-pop's highest and most respected awards. Jesus Christ, that's so, insane! Like, what the fuck? What are the notable turning points and achievements of Twice? They had their Japanese debut in 2017 with One More Time. <laughs> debuting at number one on the Japanese writer release. I think that would soon become nothing more than standard for Twice's Japanese releases. In 2017, they also released their first full album titled twice the same name as their Instagram page. That, the um, title track will be Likey, and this is one of their best songs and albums to date. Yeah. <laughs> really sums up twice and their earlier style like he touched on the hardships of social media and societal pressures while upholding twice's catchy upbeat song style yeah but still conveyed the upsetting message really well it's one yeah. of my all awesome if you then read the lyrics you think like this song is super happy and fun and it is but the lyrics are favorites a lot one of their tracks on the album rolling recently gained traction again during Twice's fourth world tour. Wow. Because you'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Every song on this album deserves that attention. Yeah. And if you want to look into Twice's earlier discography, this album would be a good start. Twice also hit it big in Japan with Candy Pop, their first Japanese comeback in January 2018. It's a pure cute concept with the music video partly in I anime mean, that fits nicely that. with the Japanese idol aesthetics. It clearly appeals to it the looks Japanese so cool. and non-Japanese public as it is the most viewed Japanese song by a K-pop girl group at 163 million views. Wow! This would truly kickstart their Japanese career. Wow! Twice has an insane Japanese discography. I want to get to it. if you eliminate their Korean discography, you would be able to witness their growth and style from the Japanese side alone arguably even be more diverse they never fail to treat japan and japanese fans as their own writing and composing songs for japan promoting on tv shows and award shows and putting the same oh, amount really of wanna... into everything they do there as they would in korea do the japanese it's truly discography. outstanding to be able to live a double life like they do 2018 would be a very up and down year for twice and not in terms of their music or achievements. Yeah. As the new hottest girl group who were known to release hits quickly and consistently. Especially what a pressure. Like... My God. Just imagine just having this amount of success and like being expected to do as good with every comeback. Just the pressure from Korea or Japan or like the world really to have like this hit. It has to be insane. More than other idol groups. This system Twice was following would soon take a toll on their health as a group. Twice would release five mini albums across the year, spanning Jeez, that's 29 insane. new songs, with one being a Japanese album. Once we're beginning to question, is this too much for Twice to handle? Which also <laughs> yeah. seemed to be the same question Twice themselves were raising. The Mama Award will come around at the end of the year. I just want to leave this speech that Gio made here, so you can truly okay. understand how they were feeling. Oh, I... 이렇게 3년 동안 정말 바쁜 스케줄 하다 보면서 몸도 마음도 특히 올해 많이 지쳐 했었던 것 같은데 네 이렇게 늘 서로에게 힘이 돼주고 서로 위로가 돼주고 늘 밝은 현장 만들어주는 우리 멤버들에게 정말 너무 고생했다고 너무 고맙다고 얘기하고 싶습니다 I'm gonna cry 또 저희 트와이스가 여러분들에게 더 좋은 노래들 그리고 에너지 넘치는 무대들 
많이 많이 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. 진심으로 감사드립니다. That's insane. And she was not wrong about coming back better. Twice has only just got started. I mentioned that Twice is a group that grows with their audience and that they are often limited to Q. Now this was most notably opposed in 2019 with their releases of Fancy and Feel Special. Yeah. Fancy was a K-pop sensation. Yeah. It embodies K-pop. Everyone was singing it. Crazy. It's still like a cute side of Twice, but it's definitely a, everyone was dancing to it a girls and from everyone like was what they used to in. do. It was different conceptually and lyrically from their previous releases, being more mature and seductive. Yeah. With the album, Fancy You, also embodying this newfound maturity in all Jesus, the songs. Jesus, Cheyoung. Especially in Strawberry, that Cheyoung wrote, which was basically about Hickey. <laughs> it is the most viewed song in the first 24 okay. hours for Twice, at 42 million. And it's fair to say it 42? opened a new way for them into the American market. Jesus. It was without a doubt one of Twice's best songs and the world was realising this. 2019 <laughs> was almost a copy of 2016 for Twice. Two Korean songs that would become a staple of their career and a year of great success. This second song being Feel Special. You make me feel special. Now, Feel Special is one of the most important songs for Twice and one. I think alike. Feel Special was the song that I heard more people talk about without me actually being into Twice. <laughs> the song was written by JYP himself for oh. and about Twice. Oh, yes, and their yes, struggles yes. Of idol I life. knew this. It was their first comeback during Mina's hiatus. Both the members and the fans were unsure if Mina would participate in this comeback, as many idols who go on hiatus seem not to do. Yeah. Then Mina's teaser dropped. As a fan, there was no way to describe the feeling and happiness and reassurance from seeing her after many months of radio Baby. silence. Participating in Thank the God music I was not fans, around. even though she was enjoying one of the roughest times of her life. Everyone was entirely grateful, and the song lived up to the hype. An amazing but sentimental dance pop track and album to go with it, featuring a song written by all the members called 2129 Oy. to thank and show gratitude for once for being by I have chills. all this time. It was truly and one I of knew their most heartfelt and best eras. Now, after 2019, Twice never abandoned their catchy, poppy, youthful type of music, and I hope they never do. But many of their B-sides, music videos and lyrics did begin to change to yeah. show different aspects of Twice. Mm -hmm. Cry For Me is the furthest from Twice's core concept that we have ever gotten. So let's explore this a little. This song is insane. randomly during their Mama 2020 performance to unexpected fans and viewers. Just it imagine, oh my god. A song that was originally going to be scrapped by the company. Thank god and a they song didn't. that may never have been released after Mama if it wasn't for the immense attention and success it gathered. It's a song that explores the concept of heartbreak and annoyance at the romantic interest for not showing any type of emotion during a breakup. Twice truly conveys this in their emotive choreography for this song. It was well received it's in Korea, so however, it was definitely bigger outside, resulting in Twice having their first US show appearance on the Kelly Clarkson show. Although, it still doesn't have a music video, so please hurry up with that, Jay. <laughs> this was yet again another turning point for them, and now every time they come back, they would have at least one American TV show or YouTube channel. Yay, combat, I'm happy for because it be of that. Ellen, Stephen Colbert, or Good Morning America. Twice had been increasing their Western attention since Oi. Fancy, but it was only getting bigger and quicker from here. Twice's comebacks would continue to grow in success in the West, as in July of 2020, they would come back with more and more with album of the same name. This would be their first US Billboard 200 chart appearance oh. at number 200 selling 6,000 copies in the wow. US. The song was originally going to Zara Larson, who even recorded a demo, 
but I'm glad Twice got their hands on it as it's an incredible dance track with an amazing instrumental. Wow. Ooh. I didn't know that. That's so good. I mean, if, if you really think about it, Zara Larson really fits this type of song. But they fit it more. Their second comeback of that year would be their second full album, Eyes Wide Open, featuring the title track and retro synthwave I styled just love I this Can't song. Stop Me. Arguably one of Twice's top three title tracks to date. Yeah. According to me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. It would peak at number 72 on Billboard 200 and Desert. sell 14,000 copies, a significant increase from yeah. just a few months prior. Their first comeback of 2021, Alcohol Free, and album titled Taste of Love peaked at number 6 on the Billboard 200, wow. entering the top 10 for the first time ever and selling 46,000 copies. Wow. This was an unprecedented jump of number of sales and place on the chart since their last two comebacks, Jesus. and it's only been less than a year. Twice even made an appearance on The Ellen Show, performing Alcohol Free for a US audience. <laughs> Mama. It's their second most acclaimed album at 77 on Metacritic, and their first wow. appearance on the site. Metacritic being a site that collates album reviews of critics like NME, Sputnik, and Beats Per Minute. This would all be a big lead up to their long awaited US debut, The Feels. I love their discography. It perfectly embodied twice and did not stray from their core concept to fit the Western views at all. <laughs> and it proved successful. It will be their first appearance on the US Hot 100 at wow. number 83. It was their second highest Spotify debut behind their most recent comeback in 2022 and went 38 on the Japanese 100 along with so many more firsts and milestones for the group. They're insane. The Feels would be featured on their third full album that came after, known as Formula of Love, featuring I love the that album. track Scientist. <laughs> This is Twice's most critically acclaimed album and has a score on Metacritic of 88, wow. being the second most acclaimed album behind TXT's Freeze at 89. For a long period after the release of Formula of Love, it remained K-pop's most acclaimed album with a score of 91. Wow. It was recently dropped due to more reviews being added over time. Formula of Love was also a major success and maybe Twice's most diverse piece of work Cute. today. It also features, for the first time ever, unit songs by the members, being three songs of three members, Push and Pull by Sana, Gio yeah. and Dahyun, I love this unit. Jesus. Hello I have to watch. by Nayeon, Cheung and Momo. I have to watch live performances on this. I love Momo Robin. And 132 by Jong Young, Sui, and Mina. I love these songs. Each showcasing a completely different side of Twice, with Hello being the most opposite to Twice's original colour, yeah. being hip hop and trap. This was also the first time we had any official songs that didn't involve all nine members. That's crazy, actually. It was also the Spearhead album for their fourth world tour that came not long after, whereby Twice was so successful in the US at this point that they added the Bank of California Stadium as an encore to the tour due to the high ticket demand and then adding a second day of the encore due to tickets selling in minutes, averaging around 50,000 people in the queue. Wow. And being the first K-pop girl group to tour at a US stadium. That's insane. At the time of this video, Nine is the first and only member of Twice to debut solo. 
She debuted with a self-titled album, Im Nayon, or I'm Nayon, with the title track, Pop. Nayon seemingly worked on this for around six months or so, whilst pumping out a multitude of other songs for Twice and doing a tour. Yeah, that didn't seem... It was a big moment for them, as Twice had stated many a times that they had no intention of going solo. Oh! Twice was so collected as a group, in fact, that they didn't have solo accounts until a month before Nayon's solo. Oh! So they went... Oh! Okay. ...at least six years with a group Instagram account. This shows that 2022 was truly a year that Twice was beginning to explore their individuality, which the company had been I love when to that, that is a long time, but as it sad at the same time, I don't know why. Coming out during a time where K-pop was focusing on retro synths and yeah. Y2K trends, Nine seemed to take it back a few years, bringing back the infectious bubblegum pop of 2017 and 2018. It was a bigger success than what the company and non-fans were expecting it to be, resulting in Nyon being the most streamed female K-pop artist oh, of 2022, I... winning Best Female Artist at MAMA 2022, Jesus. gaining a 78 on Metacritic, being the first and only female K-pop soloist to do so, and many, wow. many other record-breaking achievements. It was insane. It was August everywhere. August 2022 would then introduce Talk That Talk, an album titled Between One and Two. This was their first comeback after their contract renewal, being a sentimental moment for Once's and Twice's alike, as not many groups, girl groups especially, make it past the seven-year mark, wow. even the most successful ones. It was recently found out that the girls didn't know... We didn't realize that all members have renewed their contract until right before the official announcement. We want to share this incredible news with our fans as soon as possible because our fans are the main reason why we all decided to renew more. Each other had renewed until the day once is found out, making it all the more wholesome. Really? So whilst morale was high, they dropped their 11th mini album. How come they didn't know the Talk rest of them is definitely one of my top three title tracks or twice boasting a Y2K aesthetic. Yeah. It is one of their most successful albums, being number three on Billboard 200, selling 100,000 units in the US within their first week, 16 Crazy. times higher than their first ever entry two years ago. That's insane. It was also their first time reaching one million pre-orders, and due to the success of Between One and Two, by the end of the year, they were the best-selling and most streamed girl group on Spotify that year, showcasing their immense Western growth. Yeah. Now we come to their most recent comebacks at the time of this video. An English single named Moonlight Sunrise, which would land at number 84 on the Hot 100. It would also earn them the Billboard Women in Music Award, named Breakthrough Oh, they look Artists. so happy. She's making noise right now. <laughs> Did you see a mouse? No, she's that excited for twice. Yes. Oh, my. oh man. <laughs> of course. Love it. <laughs> Where they would attend the award ceremony in America and perform Moonlight Sunrise in the presence of artists like Rosalia, SZA, my and Del Rey. Moonlight Sunrise will be included in twice. Rosalia is not in the Spanish, but she's Catalan, just like me. So, <laughs> all line up of R&B songs, and it clearly did them well. Their follow-up album to this is titled "Ready to Be," with the main track being "Set Me Free." I really don't know. My top this three will be their tracks most successful album to date, I really surpassing 1.7 million pre-orders, a major increase from their last wow. album only a matter of months ago, as well as numerous streaming and charting records for Twice. It was a statement to their continuous growth. This would also be the spearhead album for their fifth world tour, which is currently taking place, where they will cross some of Asia. Oh, this Australia. is recent. Like, if Set Me Free is in this video. 
Oh, six months ago. North America and thankfully Europe for the first time. Yay! I'm still hoping they do more Asian dates and South American dates as well. It's a record-breaking tour, seeing twice as the first girl group ever to perform and sell out at SoFi Jesus. Stadium and MetLife Stadium, both with a capacity of 50,000 for the tour. It also has 1 million attendees across a relatively small amount of stops, so a lot of us are hoping for more countries with increased venue size. Lastly, the j Line twice, Mina, Sana and Momo, known as Me San Mo, have just debuted on the 25th of July with their album Masterpiece, being Twice's Which first is a masterpiece. official subunit. Do Not Touch, the title track, was released on July 14th, a week prior to the album. Iconic. It's a very mature concept tackling the issues of consent further showing an aspect of Twice's growth. The J-Line are some of the most famous people in Japan, so attention is incredibly <laughs> high and Insane. they will sure deliver during its promotional weeks. At the time of recording, wow. Misamo have just smashed Twice's iTunes record, being Twice's second song to go number one on the worldwide iTunes albums chart, charting top three in the US, UK and France, wow. and going number one in 20 other countries. The J-Line also had a hand in the making of the album, each writing a song for it, choosing the concept, clothes, and covering all other creative aspects, enhancing their artistry. I love this. I love this video. We've discussed really some of Twice's comebacks over the detailed. past years, but what are some of the projects they're involved in? First, let's talk collaborations. Okay. Nyon, Cheung, Gio, and Sana collaborated with League of Legends in a song called I'll Show You. What? Featuring Becca Boom and Anika Wells. Nyan also collaborated with Felix from Stray Kids on No Problem. As well as Korean rapper Won Stein in Love Countdown. I love every collaboration. Wait, 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 wait. Both of which are <laughs> I mean, on a self-titled solo album. Album. Twice also collaborated with Lux, a Japanese hair product brand, to create probably one of the best Japanese songs of all time, Just Be Yourself. <laughs> Oh, I love this! I'm missing out. <laughs> On to covers. Twice covered Jackson 5's Want You Back, even coming out with a music video and a Spotify release. They've also done many covers in their Melody Project series, whereby a member chooses a song they want to cover and uploads it to their YouTube channel. Some come with a music video and some don't. Some it's examples okay. being Chewy covering Taylor Swift, Cheyoung to Justin Bieber, and Nyon to Ariana Grande. They also have performance projects similar to Melody Projects, which is mostly focused on the dance side of Twice. Nice. This is a more recent project for Twice, with Momo being the first to do so in February 2021, oh, with Gio following this. suit in May of the same year. Whilst not wow. being performance projects, there are two other videos I'd like oh. to highlight. Momo was featured in the whole music video for Yuka Didi's song, Superhero. And Momo, Cheung and Chewie did a dance cover to Ariana Grande's Bloodline. Twice have also made OSTs, or original soundtracks, which are mostly used in K-dramas. As I stated before, Gio has made three of these solo, I really and they are I Fly, Stardust Love Song, and A Strange Day, all being well received among the Korean public and the watchers of their respective K-dramas. Oh! Gio, Chui, Nyon and Cheung sang an OST by the name of Daring Woman. And Jonghyun also featured on an OST with her sister, Sunghyun, Oi. by the name of My Dream Class. Twice as a group also have the OST, I Love You More Than Anyone, oh, a beautiful please, song gonna... for the K-drama Hospital right. Playlist. <laughs> Oh. 
This isn't a project, but is nice to know in terms of how well TWICE looks after their fans across numerous countries. TWICE as a group have many versions of their songs in multiple languages. That's so good. All of their title tracks have a Japanese version, excluding their most recent, Talk That Talk and Set Me Free. They have four English versions of their Korean title tracks, being More and More, I Can't Stop Me, Cry For Me and Set Me Free. They also have a few Korean versions of their non-Korean songs with The Feels, Breakthrough and BDZ to name a few. Okay. Continuing with That's Twice's cool. projects, what does the oh, future so hold? Pretty. It was just confirmed that Gio, the leader, will be taking on her first solo album, dropping on great. August 18th with the title track Killing Me Good and album Zone. It will be Twice's second ever solo debut and there's no better or a more ready person than Gio. Yeah. We have very limited information so far, so please keep updated. It is also predicted for TWICE to have their next group comeback around October or November of 2023, so stay tuned for that. Finally, TWICE is a group that has never failed to grow as an artist in the last seven years yeah. and clearly show no it sign of stopping their girls anytime and soon. With their newfound focus and success in the Western market and the consistent backing of Asia, I will not be surprised when they continue to reach new heights with every comeback. Yeah. And for the new onces out there, I hope you will be the one to witness their success and follow them on their journey from here on out. Yep. Because Twice are no longer just K-pop idols. They're global artists. Legends. Oh my god, that last line gave me chills. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. I apologize for the mic audio throughout the video. I'm literally recording this on my iPhone using <laughs> voice memo. It's good. I also apologize if my voice is really boring to listen to because I it's feel like not. that's a complaint I can handle. <laughs> there will be many things I've left out, so any questions will be answered down below. Don't forget to follow my Twitter and subscribe for more Twice content in the future. Nice. Thank you again for first thank you so fucking much to this person for making this because mm, what the fuck the time and effort of doing this i can only imagine it's insane how crazy their journey has been obviously i knew most of the information he said uh, besides obviously like the numbers <laughs> Um, but obviously I knew about 16, I know about the Melody projects, I, I didn't know about the OSTs, which shame on me, but <laughs> I, I kind of knew everything that he said, but it's nice to put like everything in order and like see how everything kind of happened. So that was nice to order, like organize my head and all the information that I have for them. But it was really, really, really useful and really nice. I, but again like knowing what the expectations were from that for them and how they literally blew all the expectations and like it was higher and better since ever since i got into k-pop i knew that dice was the group like the girl group and or the k-pop group like i feel like twice has been the group for years and years and years, like since their fucking debut. And it's crazy because you go through their discography and even if I didn't know the songs, I knew about Cheer Up, I knew about Fancy, I knew about Titi, I knew about all these songs even if I haven't heard them. And that's crazy. That's crazy. They're insane, super talented. They deserve all the success um, because they are hard workers. So they are not gonna stop unless it's like the, the limit, you know? And obviously, I feel like right now they are in a much better place as a group as well. I feel like there was a time that TWICE was really... Even if they were big, big also means that there's a lot of haters and a, a lot of like unreasonable expectations for the people. So I'm glad that even though they are big, still big, it looks like it kind of relaxed. So yeah, this was amazing. I love this video. So thank you so much for recommending it. It was great. Um, and now to finish off, I don't really know what I'm going to do next week. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to go back to do some either 
time to twice or melody projects i don't think i'm gonna do live performances just because i want to start doing melody projects because i really want to get to those and um, so i'm really really excited to see to to do that so i guess we'll see what i end up doing <laughs> but yeah that's basically it for me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one